What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you get that, 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 that. You can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is um, a collective reading. That's your side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free, free general collective reading. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, the channel message I received was someone's been trying to throw you off your square. However, um, it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. You're about to transmute the energy. That's what I heard. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Someone's been trying to throw you off your square. So for anybody that doesn't know, throwing you off your square is basically trying to rile you up, get you emotional, get you um, uh, in your feels, get you riled up to where you will react and somebody will say, oh, well, it was them um, that did this. It was them that reacted this way. It was them. Um, but I heard basically it's about to backfire. Um, you're going to transmute the energy. So you plugged in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, somebody's trying to throw you off. They're trying to get you up and in your feels. Way up in your feels, but you are about to turn it around. Oh my God. Okay. I heard way up in your feels, but you're about to turn it around. So they're trying to get you very emotional about person, people, place, family, situation, organization, whatever. They're trying to get you right, real, real emotional. So you will react in a negative way and they can flip it on you basically. Um, but I heard basically you're about to transmute the energy. Someone's about to learn some very, very, very important information that's going to really help them upcoming soon. Okay, I heard someone's, uh, so this will be you or somebody you're connected to. Somebody's about to learn some really, really important information soon that's really going to help you. Um, so if this is you, the person that's uh, someone or some people's trying to throw off their square, throw off their game, throw throw off their game face, throw off, throw them off, off kilter um, emotionally, uh, you're about to learn some really important information that's going to help you transmute the energy is what I'm feeling. Um, so good for you. Um, whatever information that is, it could be a text, it could be messenger, it could be email, it could be verbal face-to-face, -face, it could be um, mail, um, it can be any of those. So some kind of information, you're, uh, sounds like you're about to learn it very soon or upcoming because everybody's on different time and life paths, but some kind of information you're about to learn, whether it's soon or a day or three days or five days or what have you down the line, um, it's going to help you Get check of your emotions, put your game face on, get into your groove, get into your mode, and handle your business, basically. Um, my kind of person, just saying, just saying, whoever you are. I like it a lot. And you got focus on the bottom of the deck, focus. About to shut the emotions down, about to take care of business. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. I like it. About to shut the emotions down and take care of business. So, um, I wonder if this is like a third party or a situation ship or someone trying to poke the bear in a relationship or it could be a family member or anybody really, but mm, somebody's trying to poke the bear. They're trying to poke you. They're trying to poke you if this resonates for you. They're trying to, it's like poke the bear energy. They're trying to get you riled up so they can say, oh, well, they're mentally unstable or, oh, they look at them raging or what have you. But I heard you're about to buck it up. You're about to focus up, bucket it up, bucket it up. That's not a word. Focus, bucket up, and um, take care of the situation at hand. So whatever situation at hand that is, that could be in a workplace situation, that could be in a family dynamic, that could be legal that could be um, in a community setting. Um, it could be anything. It could be anything. Um, you're about to buck it up, buddy. Take care of the situation at hand. Focus energy. You go with your bad self, whoever this is for. I like it. I like it a lot.
For some, it is a karmic. For some, you're about to con come in contact in a workplace situation with someone of your past that's very emotionally manipulative. But you are closed off to this person now emotionally. It's really going to help you in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, now we're getting to nitty gritty. Okay, so for some of you guys, it's a karmic that's going to try to poke your bear. Or not poke your bear, that sounds weird. Poke the bear. They're going to try to poke the bear, i.e. you. Poke the bear. They're going to try. You're going to transmute that bitch. Um, for some, it's a karmic. So, you know, karmic can be anybody in your life. It can be, it's anybody that does not promote growth in, in, in you. They don't promote growth in you. They pull you down. They don't pull you up. They don't, well, you only pull yourself up. Eric, skirt about it. Okay. They block you. They block, block, block opportunities, block, um, they block opportunities. They block good things in your life. They either do or they attempt to. That's karmic energy. And it can be anybody. It can be a past spouse, current spouse, past lover, current lover, um, neighbor, co-worker, former co-worker, etc. Anybody. Anybody that wants bad, evil intentions for you, basically. That's karmic energy. So for some, it's a karmic. Um, whoever this person, karmic or karmics are in your life, um, that wants to poke your bear, poke your bear, poke the bear, not your bear, the bear. For some, it is um, someone of your past um, you're about to reconcile with in a workplace situation. So you haven't done this yet. It sounds like you're about to. So I heard you're about to reconcile with them in a workplace situation, but, and you were very emotionally connected to them in the past. So I think you might have been a third party or you might have been a girlfriend or a boyfriend or it might have even been a spouse or something of that nature you were for some you could have sexually been connected to them for some not for some it could have been a friend um somebody you thought you could trust and they betrayed you in a huge way however that resonates i heard emotionally connected so for some i feel you could have been in an actual relationship with them like actual relationship or sexual relationship or it was like a friend energy and they betrayed you in a huge way how that resonates, but but I heard you're emotionally closed off to them now. And it's going to benefit you in a huge way. A huge, huge, huge way. This person is going to be shocked. Okay, I heard a huge, huge, huge way. This person is going to be shocked. Wow. Okay. So you go go with your bad self. So, but you're about to reconcile with them in a workplace situation. So for some of you guys in the past. It, the emotional connection could have been in a workplace or it could have been outside a workplace, but you're about to reconcile with them in a workplace, if that makes sense. Um, wow. But you're emotionally closed off to them now. So you, there's no feelings there. There's no, um, I heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way. And there was double confirmation in here from spirit. It's going to benefit you in a huge way that you're emotionally closed off from them. So good good for you um you've obviously done your healing and your shadow work and you're focusing on yourself and um uh, and it's going to backfire on them in a huge way one of these particular people did heavy 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 sex magic on you in the past and it's about to boomerang back on them in a huge 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 way Okay, wow. Okay. So one of these people did heavy, heavy sex magic on you in the past, I heard. Uh, whoever you are, they did heavy sex magic on you in the past. But I heard basically um, the energetics, the all this sex magic they were putting on you and putting on you and putting on you. It sounds like it's about to boomerang energetically back from in the universe, back on them. And I heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Some, some heavy suffering from ED... Some about to start suffering from ED. Some going to have a very, very obsessive lover stalking them. And they're going to want you. Oh, oh my God. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, this is so juicy. Oh my God. Okay. So for some of you guys, oh my God. You can't make this crap, crap up if you wanted to. So... <laughs> So for some of you guys, um, they've already been suffering from ED. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, ED is erectile dysfunction. 
um, you know, like the Cialis and Viagra commercials, erectile dysfunction, you know, penile part, just saying. Um, some have already been suffering from it. Some, they're about to start suffering from it. So some, they've already been suffering from erectile dysfunction. So maybe they take Viagra, maybe they take Cialis, maybe they take something else or not. Some, they're about to start suffering from it. And some, and those are obvious, I think those are masculine energies um, or they have masculine fem female parts. Um, and some, I heard they're about to have a very obsessive lover stalk them. Like, stalk them. Like, private eyes, they're watching you. Wow. God. And that could be the focus energy, too. The stalking energy. Oh, my God. So, it's not, it's not you. If this resonates for you, it's for these people. Masculine. I feel uh, heavy masculines that have done this to you for some. For some, uh, some of them got penises, just saying. One's going to have a heavy, now this could be a masculine or femme, the one that's going to have the heavy stalker, lover stalker coming after them. Um, and they are going to be very, very, very aggressive, and they might get the law involved. It's going to get so bad. They're really going to want you. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Okay. Oh. So, sorry. I just, woo. Yikes. So, somebody's about to have a stalker lover, obsessive stalker lover. I heard they're going to be very aggressive and they're not going to give up. So, Whoever this person is, I think they've already slept with them or they're about to. And I think it's about to turn on the, oh, we're together energy. And, oh, I got to be with you all the time energy. And um, where are you? It's 12.55 p.m. It's 1 p.m. Where are you? It's 1.05 p.m. Where are you? Energy. Oh, my God. No, nay, nay. That's why I don't like relationships. No. I couldn't deal with that crap. I just couldn't deal with it. I've been single too long, man. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But anyway, so yeah, some kind of obsessive stalker energy, but, and lover, I heard lover, so I think they've already slept with the person or they're about to, because whoever this is for, it has, this hasn't happened yet, because you haven't reconciled with them in the workplace yet, but you're about to. So for some, I feel you're about to transfer a job, you're either about to transfer in your company, or you're about to get a new job, or you are about to um, maybe contract into a place and then see them however that resonates for you. Um, but it hasn't happened yet. Um, or you just are there at the workplace um, intermittently and you see them. Um, but some kind of stalker energy they're about to have. But they, in the past, they put heavy sex magic, dark art sex magic on you. I um, mean, it's, it's coming back to them energetically in the form of the stalker lover. Um, I heard they're really going to want you. And that was, I heard that two times in here. They're really going to want you. But they're going to have, they're going to be so busy with this stalker lover. I heard at least one of these part people that's going to have to deal with the stalker lover is going to, might have to get the police involved. So probably protection order or restraining order against them. Um, it's going to get so bad, which is terrible. That's really not funny. I laugh at weird things just to let everybody know. Just saying. Um, and then a red child is function heavy over here. Um, some's already experienced it. Some's about to start experiencing it. Heard they're going to want you. I think this person that experienced in this or about to experience this stalker lover is going to want you. Um, so focus energy, I think, is um, you focusing on yourself. Self-love, self-care, doing you, um, doing what you need to do for yourself or you and your kids or however that resonates in your life. Focusing on you, growing manifesting you you've already, I heard you've already healed you've already healed you already passed all this crap um but they've done they did heavy sex magic dark arts on you and now the voodoo's coming back and um but they're about to reconcile with you in a workplace situation in some shape form or fashion but they're going to see you growing healing manifesting yourself doing what you need to do in a positive way and now they've got Pee Wee Herman going down or has already been down and um, 
stalker lovers coming up to the point they might have to get the police involved energy. I think I, I feel heavy stalker energy with the focus energy, and I'm serious about that uh, for at least one of these people. There's at least two masculines in here or masculine and femme, like a transsexual's energy possibly. And then this could be a masculine or a femme with the stalker person, stalker lover. Um, whoever the stalker lover is, they're obviously very low vibrational. Um, and this person obviously likes low vibrational people. So, um, but why they went after you, because you're high vibrational and um, you're, you're, whoever you are, you're high vibrational. So I don't know why they went after you when they obviously like low vibrational people. Um, I don't know. Everybody's different. Spirit messages you have reflected. Several, 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 several shocking series of shame events are going to occur in this situation with these people and their lovers and their love life. Shocking, negative, heavy tower moments. And you're going to be single and not care. And they're going to know it. Oh my God, you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, we, I shouldn't laugh. Mm, I'm trying, y'all. I am trying. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh, oh, but in all fairness, it's their karma. It is their freaking karma. In all seriousness, it's their karma. I mean, don't y'all agree? I mean, I know I don't have the comment section open, but I mean, seriously, it's, it's their karma for real. It really is. Um, because. They were putting sex magic on you in the past. They didn't do, they didn't go manifest you in the past. They didn't express true love and feelings towards you in the past. They didn't want to treat you right in the past. They wanted to put sex magic on you. Well, you get what you get in the universe. And obviously, they didn't manifest you in the proper way. So now they manifested all these low vibrational people. Somebody's got Henry Boy going down. Somebody's already got Henry Boy down. And somebody's got a stalker lover. So, I mean, or about to have a stalker lover. So, you know, it's their own negative karma, but you're going to be, whoever you are, you're about to be with them in a workplace dynamic. So you're not there yet, but you're about to be. Um, and um, I heard you're not going to care. You're not going to care that these people, I heard heavy negative power moments in these people's love lives. So, I mean, I'm thinking breakups. I'm thinking maybe somebody, maybe their lover comes to the workplace and you experience, you watch this, their lover come to the workplace Maybe, maybe you have to call the police or they have to call the police or somebody calls the police because their lover gets crazy at the workplace or, um, or something like that. Because, um, I think their lovers are threatened by you. And I didn't hear that from the spiritual realm, but I do. I think their lovers are threatened by you. I think they're jealous of you. And, um, cause I heard several negative heavy tower moments in their love lives. So, they're about to experience, go through it. But I heard you're not going to care. You're not going to care. I mean, you're a caring person. You're a very caring person. But you know to keep to yourself when it comes to love life. Let them do them. Oh, okay. I heard you're a very caring person when it comes to their love life. But I heard let them do them. Oh, and that's true. That's true. I agree with you, whoever you are. Absolutely. So I heard you're a very caring person, but you know to keep to yourself when it comes to love life and growth and manifestation and stay in your lane energy, basically. You know to stay in your lane, and absolutely. Um, that's the smart thing to do. Kudos to you. Um, but um, I heard you're not going to care. You're not going to care. You're a caring person, but you're not going to care about their love life and the tower moments happening going on in their love lives because that's not your love life, basically. Um, and, and that's smart. Kudos to you. Staying in your lane when it comes to love lives are the best, smartest decisions because that this crap happens. Black magic, voodoo, sex, sex arts, tower moments, crazy stalker people, lovers. ED, um, 
exes, I feel for one of these situations, I didn't, didn't specifically hear from the spiritual realm, but I feel in one of these situations over here, these three situations, one of their, probably their current partner or current third party or current situation or, or current spouse or what have you, is probably going to try to come into the workplace because they know you're working with them now. Um, but you, I heard you're going to stay in your lane. And yes, 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 that's smart. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. It's going to open somebody's eyes in a huge, huge, huge way in your department and benefits you in a huge way. Okay, I heard it's going to open somebody's eyes in your department in a huge, huge, huge way and benefit you in a huge way. So good. Well, it sounds like you're going to do what you need to do. Yes, yeah, stay in your lane. Of course, everybody's free will and I'm not telling you to stay in your lane. But it is, I, I, if it was me, I would stay in my lane. Just saying, just saying. I heard from Spirit going to. And absolutely, you should. You should stay in your lane. Do you, honey boo boo. You are not in these relationships. Whoever you are, you might have been a third party in the past. You might have been in a situation in the past. You might have been an ex-partner in the past. You might have been an ex-spouse in the past. But you're not anymore. So, yeah, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. I heard it's going to open up your somebody in your department's eyes in a huge way. And it's going to benefit you in a huge way. So that might be a boss, a supervisor, a manager, a CEO, um, or a co-worker. And I heard in your department. So I think these people, they're going to be around you in workplace situations. Some might be in your department. Some may not be in your department. Um, but the person's eyes that are going to be opened is in your department. And it's going to open up their eyes in a positive way and help, and uh, not help you, but benefit you. So, so good, good. Because I think what's going to go on is the person's eyes in your department that's about to be opened in a huge way after, because this hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. Because you haven't keep reconnected with these people in a workplace dynamic yet. I don't feel y'all are there yet. I don't feel you've either transferred or got the new job or started the first day on the new job or contracted in or what have you. You haven't gotten there yet. But once you get there, that's when all this is going to occur. But I heard it's going to open up somebody in your department's eyes in a huge way and benefit you. So I think whether it's a manager, boss, CEO, supervisor, etc., or a co-worker, they're going to see all this. And it's going to, they're going to be like, oh, fuck, she, she don't care. He don't care. And then um, maybe they thought you were going to care. I heard you weren't going to, and I don't blame you. Yeah, nay, nay. Mm -mm. No, no. They left you out in the cold in the past. Why the hell she drew care now? And that's just the truth, you know? So, yeah. So, um, yeah. I heard it's going to open up somebody in your department's eyes in a huge way and benefit you. So good. Um, maybe you're this person. Maybe you're this person. I feel primarily you guys are this person, but you, you really have to plug yourself in wherever you fit, whether you're this person, this person, or these people. However that resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. I'm not going to pull anything. We got focus on the bottom. Well, we have release reverse. They do not want to let you go, but they want cake and eat it too. And you're about to show them it's not going to be that way. Well, you go with your bad self. You go with your, oh, I like you. Whoever you are, I like you. I like you, sir, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. I like you a lot. Um, You're my kind of person. I heard they want to, um, let. You, they don't want to let you go, but you're about to show them what's up. So you're, you're not, um, I heard they're going to really want you after all this crap goes down. Well, they should have thought about that when they made low vibrational karmic choices for their partners. And that's just the truth. Um, you know, so, um, the release reverse is them wanting to hold on to you energetically or them wanting to hold, or them wanting to get into a relationship with you or them thinking they can smooth you after all these tower moments happen. And you'll be like, oh yeah, baby, what? what's up? I heard you're just not going to go down that way. And good for you. I like you, whoever you are. I like you a lot. Just saying. I do. So that's them wanting to energetically hold on to you. Energetically um, latch up back on you. I think you have good energy. I think you, um, and they know it. Um, and whoever they're with 
is some low vibrational punkadoos. Just saying, just saying, masculine or femme. Um, but you're uh -uh, you're about to release that bitch. No, 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 no. Um, just saying. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else. They thought they were going to surprise you. But for some, you're going to already get a heads up. These people are in this workplace before you get there. The player got played. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, wee. Holy crap. Wow. It's so juicy in here. Okay, so I, whoo, okay, so I heard, um, they were going to surprise you. So whoever you are, they are not telling you that they're in this workplace. You haven't got to the workplace yet, but they're already there, it sounds like. Um, but they wasn't going to tell you they're there. They wanted to surprise you. But I heard for some, you're going to find out before you even get there. Before you even get there, you're going to find out. And I heard uh, player got played. So, so I think somebody's going to tell you. Or you're about to find out in some other shape, form, or fashion that these people are employed there. So it gives you a mental heads up that these people are already going to be there. So you can mentally prepare with who you're going to work with. Um, and it, for some, I feel it could be exes of the past or people that wanted to date you in the past. Um, and you're not, you're going to be mentally prepared and you'll be like, oh, yeah, gravy, baby, it's okay because I don't want them anyways. And then it's going to make them want you any, even more, but you're not going to want them. Because you already mentally prepared. It's not going to be a time. They wanted to create a tower moment on you. Is what I'm feeling here. They wanted to create a shock and awe tower moment on you. Um, I heard throw you off your square. Emotionally. But it's about to be turned back on them. Because you're about to find out before you get there. That they're already employed there. So you can have time to mentally prepare. And emotionally prepare. So when you get in there. You'll be freaking on it. Um, and you're, I heard it's going to backfire. So I think it's going to throw them off their square because they're about to have so many tower moments with their current baby mama, baby daddy, spouses, fiancés, what have you. Um, oh my God, I love it. Oh, you're awesome. You're freaking awesome. And Aquarius is having a huge, 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 huge wake up call. Huge. Oh my God. I heard it. Aquarius is having a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Whoever you are, Aquarius. Um, oh my God. Holy crap. This is awesome. <laughs> Whoever you are, Aquarius, you can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, and Jupiter. You do you. Maybe you're an Aquarius that's about to go into this workplace dynamic. Maybe you're an Aquarius um, of one, one maybe your uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, and Jupiter is one of these, possibly. Or maybe your low vibrational partners are Aquariuses. Um, or maybe you're the person that's about to get a huge wake-up call in the department, Aquarius. Who, or maybe you're an Aquarius that's coming in. However, that resonates with some kind of an Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. I'm getting off of here. I love you guys. Hope this helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from the messages, please share my videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.